This is episode 76 of the Curios Cast, another episode of Weird News. This week we're talking about a naughty reverend with crisps on his nipples, a soap bad boy lookalike who's ploughing a farmyard floozy, and a tooth growing somewhere that a tooth definitely shouldn't be. So, we've finally got a Curios Cast hotline. Whoa. Wow. Wow. You need that sound effect, that YouTube sound effect. So any listeners out there, if you want to suggest a topic, you want to send in a question, maybe you've got some tough decisions that you need to make in your life and you want some responsible, uh, reasonable, measured answers, and you can, you can send us a text, you can send us a WhatsApp, uh, a voice message, and you can send it to the phone number 07470. One eight four three eight three. That's oh seven four seven oh one eight four three eight three oh seven four seven oh one eight four three eight three. Once again, that's oh seven four seven oh one eight four three eight three. So yeah, the number's going to be in the description. We'll put, pretty much put in the description of every episode. Mm. Whether you prefer text message. Um, it's, it is an iPhone, so it should have iMessage. Um, WhatsApp. A voice message would be great, because then we can play your voice out yeah. live on air. Yeah. And we'll respond to you. Probably guaranteed, because there's not many of you. So uh, yeah. I guess you there's, could, there's you no could... payment either. If we do use your voice on, on an episode, uh, that is part of the terms and conditions. No payment <laughs> offer. I mean, you could yeah. even send a little video yourself, I suppose, couldn't you? Yeah, it's more effort. <laughs> <laughs> Just holding the phone up to the microphone <laughs> and then us talking about it. Um, but yeah, no matter how you want to do it, we want this to be a collaborative podcast with all of you. Mm. So uh, in the description, there is a, a link you can click and it just sends it directly to our podcast hosting platform so we can see it that way. Or um, you can send us a text to... Oh, seven, four, seven, oh. Gonna rinse that jingle <laughs> <laughs> between every topic. The jingle comes out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so send us in your your questions. You know, last episode we had a big debate about wheels versus doors. Mm. Uh, we all agreed on wheels. We figured out that George is dumb and. Uh, <laughs> And <laughs> my logic is sound. No, uh, but <laughs> yeah, if you've got any other stupid questions that you want us to answer, then give us a text, and yeah, we'll we'll, we'll read it out. And we've got many listeners in other countries. I don't know how your country works when it comes to text messages, to be honest. So if it's going to cost you any money, maybe don't do it. But mm. WhatsApp is free, I think. So iMessage as well, Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, true. Um, I'll make sure that I've got iMessage on. Give it a go. What's the yeah. worst that could happen? Yeah, well, you might get charged, just, just, but, you know. yeah, just give it a go. Oh, yeah. yeah remember message, remember so to yeah. check with a bill-paying adult. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have to yeah. do a disclaimer. If you've got one of those really fast-speaking disclaimers, text put at the standard, end. Standard, yeah, standard text message, red supply. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we'll work on that. <laughs> you really you really make me fancy a beer, George, as well. Fucking, I'm, I didn't yeah, think... Lovely, I'm, lovely. Just uh, looking at him. Yeah, just, I mean, look, just looking at him. Kind of guy look. you just want to have a pint with, you know? Red face. Lovely... Her Yan triple were there. Oh, fuck it. All right. Well, you can't see it, actually. The, the camera could see it. There you go. Hmm. Oh. Um, it is 8.5%, though. So, uh, oh, fucking hell. That would do, wouldn't it? It's strong for a Tuesday. My, mate, uh, fresh my drummer, Thames Water here. Oh. Yeah. My drummer came to watch me. I did a solo gig the other day, and he came along to watch me, and they would. It, they had, like, it was in this little micro pub, but they had, like, that. that uh, I think it's like West Indian Guinness, called like West Indian Porter Guinness. No, the strong one. Export the strong, shit. yeah, it's like six, yeah. six percent, and he was he banged out like five of them. Ooh. And uh, and then like, and then like a a double rum and coke at the end of the night. I was like, why did you do that? He's like, yeah, I really don't know. I feel like you know sometimes when you're drinking, you get to that point where you think like I've done it before. I'm like first few first few beers, and I'm normally, I'm normally where I feel the most pissed, mm. and I'm like, cool. I feel and then you like, settle because you're different, yeah, and you sort of settle for a bit. And and the dangerous point is when I hit the point where I'm like, it's not affecting me anymore. Like I have completed drinking, I am immune. I am like a drinking machine, and you can just like 
bang shots is the worst when I bang yeah. a shot and I, and, and I think I'm okay with it that's when I know I'm in trouble and then you you either go to the bathroom or you go outside it hits you and then you're just oh yeah, yeah shot, it's all it's you're all done. over yeah, for me I all. think it's like I'm getting to the point where I'm like I'm feeling tipsy I'm enjoying myself I'm like yeah I can I've still got a little while to go so let me get a beer and a mixer and a shot all at the same time. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, I've just had a couple of drinks. It made me feel feel better. So surely the more I drink, the yeah. better I'm going to feel. It's yeah. exponential. And, then, and like, <laughs> who wants yeah. shots? And it yeah. instantly fucked. Yeah. But uh, who's, got, who's got the best weird news story, do we reckon? Who, who wants to go first? <laughs> hmm. well, Start off with the best and we'll trickle down. Into, yeah, into well, the shit. I'm not... M- I uh, mine might be quite bleak. Uh, it's, a thing. <laughs> it's sort of like I mean, but the, the guy doesn't seem like a particularly stand-up citizen. So I think it's okay to laugh at him. Um, <laughs> Let's laugh at him. Yeah. Uh, so mine is uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it's kind of one of those headlines that says it all. But but there's there's quite a lot. There's quite a lot going on. Um, church reverend pictured with crisps on his nipples. During four day cocaine and ketamine fueled bender. So the headline's actually so shit when you read when you read the story, because it's like such a minor part of the story is this picture of him having crisps on his nipples. Like it's so it's so irrelevant. Like why have they chose that to be the What what sort of crisps were? I hope they don't like those uh, cones, you know, the uh, bugles. <laughs> the bugles, is it? Yeah. 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 Skips. Seeing skips how many would be quite good. Get on his nipple. <laughs> yeah. Skips would might maybe look like a really small like uh, shell bikini like mermaids have <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah that's such an irrelevant part of the story the, the part of the story is you know church reverend on a four day cocaine and ketamine fueled bender amongst loads of other debaucherous shit he's also done mm. crisps on his nipples not really not not really a factor in the whole story so you get clicks in this modern yeah, day right? well yeah they run with it anyway um, basically the story is right so there's this dude, he's a, it's, it, it describes him as disgraced co-op bank chairman, Paul Flowers, right? So he was also the chairman of the co-op bank, as well as being a reverend. So, Bit of everything. Um, yeah, so I guess he was both, both of these at the same time. Is he like a freelance the, reverend? Uh, no. Uh, so I don't, I don't know which, uh, yeah, I don't know how you can be both or whether he went from one to the other. It doesn't really highlight that. Mm. I didn't bother doing the both research. Both the jobs that. that, you know, yeah. same set of skills, you know, preying on those that are much more vulnerable than you yeah. are. At you some know, point, he's <laughs> using expenses and, and other people's money oh, to yeah. pay at for one, everything. At one point, he was definitely like a minister as well, like a. Um, like, I think a Labour minister and like banged a load of expenses. But. Um, this is great, this bit though. Apparently, the drug the drug loving suspended reverend, nicknamed the Crystal Methodist. <laughs> <laughs> that is good, isn't it? I imagine like the church service, like like when they're announcing, and here it comes <laughs> in the red corner. <laughs> the Crystal Methodist. The Crystal Methodist. It does sound like a, a sick, like like not, not like a WWE character, but like a, a character you might get at like a the Civic Hall wrestling. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like... Yeah, Butlin's wrestling. Yeah, yeah. The, the Crystal Methodist. And it, that'd, be, that'd be a good name for one of the wrestlers, wouldn't it? And you come out in, in the thing, but you're like a, you know, like a, a redneck. Again, that's probably not the the PC term anymore. But yeah, you're like a redneck, but you're also like a priest mm. and you're clearly banged out on the meth. That's a good character. I might, I might get into it. Crystal yeah. Methodist. Right, that yeah, my, right. uh, my headphones just fell apart in my ear. Oh Isn't wow! It? Look at that! Brilliant! Yeah. Show that to the camera. Isn't it? I think up. it was all the uh, all the comedy just blew the headphones apart. <laughs> <laughs> quality pair of headphones you got there george it's really good isn't it? we'll put that on um you know when we do a uh, our first live tour we'll, on, on all the posters and the tube stations <laughs> they blew my headphones <laughs> off <laughs> well these will be available on our patreon you can um you can buy this pair of headphones <laughs> yeah, one of the yeah. tiers but then the, you won't have a pair of headphones because you're yeah. not going to replace well, them because right? then i'll be able to fund a new pair so you know, <laughs> uh, yeah very business, good businessman um, there's one thing about this article though. It, it continue. It makes a few references to rent boys, which it later then corrects itself to male escort. I'm pretty sure rent boys is not is not the it's term. Not PC anymore, is it? No. Yeah. Well, it's from 2016, but even then, I would have thought mm. maybe it went out of vogue halfway through writing the article, so it started <laughs> yeah. off saying referring to them as rent boys, yeah. and then it was like. 
someone went, oh, it's probably, probably not on, mate, really. And then someone went, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. oh, male escorts right. from now on. <laughs> can't be bothered to go, yeah, can't be bothered to go back and change the start. No, no, no. Fuck that. No, don't do that much journalistic integrity. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he was, a uh, yes, yeah, it refers to him again as ex-bank chief, but also church minister. But he's gone to, like, rehab and stuff. Basically, he, he's had these mad parties where he's had, like, it sounds like quite a lot of mad escort trans. He is not a young man. He's like 65. He is, uh, you know, not in the not in the greatest shape, I would say. I think it's fair to say. It's fair to um, say that crisps would not fall off his nipples. Easily. No, they probably <laughs> would balance <laughs> around. Yeah. Yeah. Picture the kind of guy that easily <laughs> balance a lot yeah. of crisps on his nipples. And he very much looks 65, you know. Um, but there's like a video at the start which just shows him. It's one of these, I think, like, <laughs> it's like, do you think when they're filming that, they're just thinking like, because it must be one of these male escorts that he's hired that, that, that's, that's filming this. And it, and it makes a reference one point to like, they've, in, they've interviewed this one guy, Chris, and he's like, there are a lot of drugs. He just doesn't seem to care. He seems out of control. So he's obviously got all these people around he's paying for him. He's, just, he's obviously got a lot of money. He's just getting bang on all these drugs. Um, and someone's ended up filming it do you think at the time they're filming that they're like, well, I'm definitely selling this to the papers as well as taking this guy's money that he's like, do you think they're just getting, or, or is it like, you know, it's maybe like a bit of security in it. I've got this in case he tries yeah. to like, yeah. you, you can tell from like I guess if you watch the video, you probably tell from the vibe, right? Is he panning around being like, hey, lads, lads, nah, lads. And then like, he's just there. Or is it just, looks like he's secretly filming it. From, it's quite surreptitious. Yeah. yeah you're definitely he's, doing it then just yeah. to try and get some dirt Could on him for later on maybe, down the line. Yeah. yeah. Try and um, bribe but, him. But he's basically, yeah, there's a bit of it. He's, he's taking a picture of him topless and fast asleep in an armchair with two crisps b- bizarrely balanced on his nipples. <laughs> I mean, I don't, know, I don't know if they haven't shared the full nipple crisp pictures, but uh, you can only see one in the picture, unfortunately. Oh, so it's not confirmed that he had crisps it's, it's, on his It's nipples. not confirmed. Yeah. It's also kind of hard to tell he's a crisp. Uh, but Potato maybe this... chips for the Americans out <laughs> there. True, true. What is a, is a crisp anything in America? No, or would you no, change shit? I don't yeah, think so. To them. No. They're the, the gang that the Bloods have rivalry with, I think. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's just getting bang on it. Uh, it but he, So he, he got originally made the headlines in 2013 when he was uh, he was filmed getting counting out 300 quid to buy cocaine and crystal meth, which earned him his nickname. Uh, Stry, I didn't know you could buy crystal meth in the UK, though. This is, this is a UK story. Hmm. Uh, you get what, get whatever, can't you? Get whatever, yeah. I thought sure. it was very much an American thing, though, Crystal Meth. Seems like an American thing. Um, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know of anyone. I've never heard of it being a thing, no, no. but I guess it is if you want it. Um, but yeah, so you church. Played... That's, that's, the, yes, that's the thing. Church, no, none, right, of yeah. us are, none of us are in, in there. <laughs> there's one thing they do in here, which I think, like, this is just such, there's one thing they say, it's just such a classic, like, Boomer writing a story about drugs. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Again, rent boy, it says. A rent boy who attended the party told how the ex, ex-bank ex chief, who was in charge of billions of pounds, had sent him invitation texts saying, I have Charlie and Katie, comma, code for cocaine and the horse tranquilizer ketamine. I have never heard anyone call that Katie, have you? I was about no. to say, no, I've heard of Charlie, but I've never yeah, heard anyone Ch- say Katie. <laughs> Uh, I mean, maybe yeah. he did in this text. Um, I love the way they put, and the horse tranquilizer, ketamine. You know, like, I'm, I'm not even particularly sure it's really used as a horse tranquilizer. Like, it's definitely also just used in hospital. I like, it's a classic. Mm, yeah. yeah. Like, like they, they gave my dad ketamine when he broke his arm and he was smashed. Like, it was bizarre to see him like that because he was like on very much high. Mm. It was very weird. Um, <laughs> it's like if they it's, it's like if they said like and the horse stimulant caffeine yeah. <laughs> yeah probably yeah everyone uses that yeah <laughs> um, everyone uses a bit of caffeine a bit of care you know just every now and then <laughs> bang it yeah but it sounds like he's had some fucking mad ones right but yeah so he pled guilty to, to these drug charges um, he was pled guilty to possession of cocaine crystal meth and ketamine so it is a thing in, in, in Leeds magistrate's calls he has managed to get hold of some uh, crystal meth. Apparently, he's supposed to be. He was suspended by the Methodist Church in 2014. Meth, and he was. Uh, he's been unable to resolve his uh, position because he's too unwell to attend meetings. So he's been able to have this uh, detox, isn't it? Yeah, well, he's been able to have these like uh, 
I could hear in about it. He hasn't managed mm. to do it. So he's still technically, he's still technically a reverend. Um, but yeah, so his pledge. So he said that he's going to detox and everything, but it's been exposed by a by this um, male escort, Chris. Um, I love the way he describes it as well. Be he was Chris. flouncing around and speaking really posh. There are about fifteen people there and loads of drugs and alcohol. When when I arrived, he told me, "I'll get you at some point." <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound That's very cool. I know. I'll tell, <laughs> I'll tell you what's like, it's a bit bleak, like, firstly, because I feel like this 65 year old man has perhaps in his younger life not, not felt comfortable coming out. And pre- you, know, do you know what I mean? It feels like very much like that, hmm. where and now he's got this position of power, and, and now, and maybe he's never really felt comfortable coming out until maybe about now, but now he's just buying a load of male escorts. I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't feel to me like he's grown up, you know, mm. in a society where he felt as comfortable to come out openly. We and live now, in a society. And now it's kind of manifested in this quite dark, like, I don't know, that's just what it feels well, like. Well, I guess if he's being a reverend, you know, I'd assume that that well, means yeah. that he's probably grown well, up yeah. in the church and that sort of stuff, so. Yeah, and, yeah. and can you be, can you be a gay reverend these day and age? I don't know, maybe. Sorry? Like, can you be a gay reverend? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Well, it depends Probably. what church you're in, right? I think... Um, yeah, well, he's the Methodist churches. church, so I don't know about... I don't know, I don't know about, about Methodist, that, actually. But yeah, maybe he wasn't. But yeah. but he talks about it. He talks about going to, like... He wanted to have, like, a, a, a pride float. It says, like, he wanted to have a float in the pride parade with all of the uh, male escorts, like, dancing around <laughs> on it, he said. I'd like to see that. <laughs> uh, that's what I would like to see. That'd be yeah, quite so good. Like, I don't know. He's probably just banged out on cover and just saying that. It was, like, a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> Um, we we should get a fucking flow. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Oh, you boys I'll, I'll, all I'll, with I'll me. Pay. I'll, I'll get a flow. I'll get a flow. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. And all we'll you boys will back. be there we'll with fucking, me. We'll throw out crisps to the crowd. Everyone loves <laughs> big crisps. And, yeah. and, and then he's and then he's like falling asleep like two hours later. Got, He'd be like, you're my boys. You're different. my boys, aren't you? You're all my boys. You're all better. Like, at, the, at the time, they're probably like, yeah, like yeah, I'm well up for that. Like this is sick. Like I'm having a great time. <laughs> Flowers, wherever he's actually from. Paul. That's one of the funniest things. Sometimes is like. If you're at like a house party or like a night out and someone who's coked out of their mind is coming up to you with like a business idea or <laughs> talking about like their plan oh, so and you're, you're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah night, oh, fuck, you're going to do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like, speaking so quickly, like so disjointed. And you know, the next day, if you, well, that, uh, that you know, crisp and gay float idea you uh, <laughs> yeah. gonna go ahead you gonna do that mate what? yeah you sure about that <laughs> yeah. aren't you supposed to be a reverend who's like in rehab uh, um yeah like i i've got uh someone who may or may not be listening to this will we'll, we'll know uh who they are if they are listening um <laughs> has uh got a bit of a habit for that and uh, a little while ago might have uh might have got a little bit carried away and was uh just telling me a story like instantly was telling me this plan and I was like yeah cool sick idea I'm instantly on board with that sounds good and then proceeded to repeat the same plan <laughs> I was just like yeah I'm, I'm, I'm still cool with it like come on like but you know <laughs> it's just kind of, yeah right cool yeah yeah I'm still I'm, it's, it's still good um, I was, I was Lawford <laughs> If you've got any funny stories about people being coked out of their mind, <laughs> send us a text on 07470184383 That number again 07470184383 Ah, but yeah, I mean, the, the st- I mean, it, so it goes on to mention how he was head of like this band on like 132 grand a year salary, you know, so he's not exactly like, we need to worry about that, like, taking mm. the piss out of this guy. And, uh, and he stepped down after the bank was found to have a 1.5 billion black hole in his finances. And he was like big on like some expenses scandal and like his lifestyle was exposed. So he was already like getting bang on it and doing all this shit mm. while uh, they're like... St- draining money out of this bank you know like and it's mysterious I love that 1.5 billion black hole that's crazy yeah that's mental like 1 billion 1.5 billion pounds of unaccounted for money I guess that means so what's happened and this guy hasn't been arrested or like done any uh, time not for no, because he's he, a he had to step down yeah he had to step down he no he was he was arrested for these drug charges but like had to pay like 500 quid <laughs> man 
Yeah. Only God can judge. <laughs> yeah, it's far out. It. Uh, he did at one point. Um, oh no, he says the sort of co-op was seeking to recover contractual payments totaling thirty-one grand made to him uh, after he was the subject of an inquiry into his lavish claims. Um, but that's about it. So that could be absolute piss in the so ocean. So he spe- yeah, um, he spends all like you know bank money or whatever on. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, expenses drugs and, and stuff rent boys, and, and then yeah. he does the same thing with. Church money, I guess. I guess mm. so, yeah. And then he gets a thirty grand fine. Or whether he does it, or not, there's not particularly an insinuation for that in the uh, in the article. But no, I'm insinuating it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Stating it as fact. Yeah. <laughs> if I say it with yeah. enough confidence, people will believe me. I mean, he also says he paid 180 grand for his three-story house. I guess this is in Manchester. I think that oh no, Leeds, isn't it? Leeds, so Leeds, Leeds yeah. or Manchester. So because I mean, that's cheap even in fucking 2016. Um, yeah. Th- it's not like a particularly lavish house, but. If it's he just banged it out in cash, thing. yeah, it could be a big, could be a big house. Three story townhouse. It's quite it might not even be his only house though. Might be like the house he yeah, lives in. Yeah, true. The house where he has his yeah. debaucherous parties. Yeah. Um, but there we go. I mean, th- there's not much more to it than that. I mean, the headline is like the, the best Pringle thing. Actually, no, uh, Pringle. Uh, Pringle, Pringle thing. Thing. <laughs> yeah, the Pringle thing is so relevant, isn't it, to the whole story? Like, it's is there so... a picture? You say there is a picture. There of the is a picture. Yeah, I'll, I'll send it, and Tom will put it up on the screen. It's ba- like, yeah. You can barely even tell in the picture that that's what it is. Like, I'm not even particularly sure it is that. Mm. Maybe like maybe this uh, person they spoke to confirmed and said for some reason felt the need to point that out. Oh, by the way, that picture. Chris on his nipples, mate. Mad. <laughs> Mad. It was one the be- on each. The best thing is, like what you said, the fact that this guy has done so many th- things and the thing that they <laughs> yeah. want to draw the most amount of attention to is the fact that he's got uh, Chris on his nipples. Yeah, and I can't believe they didn't put Crystal Methodist in the, uh, in the title in as well, because that yeah. is the best yeah. bit of the article, easily. The Crystal Methodist. Great, great work. Um, yeah, I think that could be anything. It could be like a um, cornflake. Yeah. yeah, big old cornflake. Could be okay, a corn. Could a be. Cornflake. Would be a big cornflake. Yeah. Could be a chicken nugget. Samosa. Could be a bit of a samosa. Could be a like. samosa. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. But could I guess, just be. What you know, could just got, be. What he's got it here. Like. You know, word of the rent boy that it is a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Chris, for your crisp information. Um, yeah, that's that really. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> Are there comments on this? I want to read it. Yeah, yeah. I suppose no, real no, dodgy no articles. You have to scroll through about a thousand fucking adverts before you even yeah, get to the bottom of that. It's not, not a comment article. It's a shame. No. That would have been ripe for a comment in. Over 70, here's why you're wrong about your equity release. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got loads of Dutch. Uh... I've got loads of stuff about the Queen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got stuff about Jada Pinkett Smith. No, yeah, mine's all in in Dutch. So I don't know what's going on. Enormous great white shark spotted off coast. That's the sort of thing I click. Like that's the sort of shit that gets me. Enormous great white shark spotted off coast after four thousand mile journey. Yeah, I'm see. I'm going to click that. But the picture is just a generic picture of a great white shark, isn't it? It's not going to be the one. <laughs> yeah. Woman loses half her skull and left with huge dent due to sinus infection. I mean, who is not going to click on that? Man, none of mine are that interesting. They're all about the Queen. Let me refresh. <laughs> well, this one's depressing. Runner who was given months to live dies after <laughs> finding lump. Brilliant. What sort of headline no, is that? Given, Runner yeah, who was given months to live dies. after finding lump dies yeah. after finding lump. Brilliant. That's, yeah. That's uh, teaching assistant 21 who had sex with boy saying age is just a number. Spared yeah. jail. That's the point. That's great, yeah. <laughs> um, right, oh, next and uh, Psychic Sally has had uh, a oh, face. She's about. Oh, good old, good on her. And she's about. Her. Yeah. Lovely. Um, I'll go next. Go on Excellent. In. So this one comes from That's Life magazine. So from a stack of magazines that I picked up in a service station a few months ago. Oh, yes. And... uh. I I read out the headline for this a few mu- uh, a few months ago when I found the story about the old man and the young girl getting together at the oh yeah old people home or whatever the homeless yeah. shower yeah one of the other front page headlines here is my cane dingle lookalike was ploughing a farmyard floozy but I tracked her down 
So, yeah. Who's Kane Dingle, by the way? Are we supposed to know that? No. Eminem well, or something? I don't... So there's a picture of Kane Dingle. Um, I'll hold that up. And uh, he is from Emmerdale. Yeah, got it right. So <laughs> what does that say about me? <laughs> <laughs> Natalie had always dreamt of wooing Emmerdale bad boy Kane Dingle. But when she hooked up with his lookalike, she was thrown into a soap opera of her own. Shit. For our American listeners and people not from the UK, Emmerdale is like a... Soap set in uh, like a farming little village in is it Yorkshire or something? Isn't it? Yeah, it used yeah, to be called that, Emmerdale Farm, didn't it? Yeah. And then they changed it just to Emmerdale to capture. Americans longer. must find that mad if they come over and catch that, mustn't they? Like so Emmerdale. British, I think. Like yeah, it's just uh, yeah. I don't know if they have. Concept. I don't. I don't know if they have soap operas like we do here. I know they know what a soap opera is, but we have soap operas that have been running. For since like, the like 100 years, like, what is the one that's like, on Radio 4? Uh, uh, the oh, Archers, the Archers, the Archers yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's good thinking, but of, of like the main <laughs> TV soaps, what ones is it EastEnders that has been going the longest? Coronation so. Street, think, East End, Coronation Street, probably Coronation yeah. Street. Coronation and Street started when Cor- it was in black and white. East Enders yeah. was black and white so as well. I think East Enders, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really and they're close. on pretty much every day mm. and don't fucking stop like al- almost every single day. What so you think we did soaps before America's? America's American. America. I, I feel like it's yeah, not as much surely. of a cultural thing in America. No, nah, they, oh, they, they they definitely have soaps. They have like, like Joey is on like Days of Our Lives, don't they? They have like shit. Oh yeah, but are they, they on every sh- day? I thought they were just like weekly kind of things. And it's they Golden Girls. That sort of stuff. Is that a soap? I don't know. know. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they just don't cross. They don't cross over, do they? They're not like transatlantic because yeah. like that, like they would have absolutely no interest in watching EastEnders. It would baffle them. I reckon. L- like, I think EastEnders and Coronation Street outdates anything in America, like soap wise. Anything, like anything. <laughs> outdates their country. That is, that is yeah. my bold statement. Well, we'll. <laughs> Well, can any Americans out there, country, if you yeah. want to let us know about soaps in your country, then you can text us on 07470184383 07 And we know. don't mean, I don't mean washing soap. I don't mean soap that you use for washing your, your no, anus or your balls. we're talking about tired pods here. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about good old TV. But anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, I was maybe thinking of Australia, Karen. Kane Dingle was, uh, yeah, an Emmerdale bad boy. Let me get this. There's, it's double sided, two pages here. Whoa. Neighbours has finished, by the way. I just suddenly, I just came to that way. So I think Neighbours yeah. has finished. Yeah, they announced recently. I was, uh, there's like petitions to try and get it not <sighs> cancelled. I bet that's like, yeah, well, they've clearly already decided. No, that's about, about the 10 people that still watch it. Yeah. Yeah. As the end credits of Emmerdale began to roll, I shook my head at the screen. I can't believe Kane Dingle is cheating on Moira with Chelsea, I said to bum partner Mark. You still like him though, don't you? Mark teased. You're right. I do love a bad boy, I chuckled. (laughs) I'd love Kane (laughs) Dingle. (laughs) Played by Jeff Hordley. Uh, I'd loved, oh, I'd loved Kane Dingle since I first saw him on telly. Emmerdale's bad boy mechanic had done it all over the years from affairs to sabotage to murder shit alright so he's dead he's Emmerdale's like dirty den is he I yeah, guess so yeah. Would, yeah. Uh, no matter what he did he could do no wrong in my eyes uh, so yeah this lady what's her name this article Natalie so Natalie is our uh, the person who's written into this magazine yeah and her partner is Mark so one evening uh, Mark and Natalie went out to their local pub. As she was sipping on a Bacardi and Coke, she looked up. Oh my God, Mark, Kane Dingle's just walked in. <laughs> I exclaimed excitedly. Look over there. I don't believe it, Mark said. That's not Kane Dingle. That's Joe. <laughs> 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 Joe Dingle. Yeah. <laughs> what Joe Dingle? Yeah, does she or she means uh, uh, some other bloke called Joe looks like Kane Dingle. Some other joke joke wow. called Blow? Some other bloke <laughs> called Joe. <laughs> Absolute uh, Kane Dingle. We were mates in school, Mark explained. <gasps> oh. Uh we've not seen each other for years. Uh but they were yeah, best mates when they was at school. How's he just realised that Joe looks like Kane Dingle if he's you know, if if he was mates with him at school? 
No, no, it's the first it, time we've seen him for uh, for years. Yeah, he might not have looked like Kane. He's, he's evolved. Yeah. He's yeah. evolved into Kane Dingle. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Joe may not have been Kane Dingle, but he was the next best thing. It knocked me for six how much he looked like the character and how attractive he was. Ooh. He joined them at the table and they spent the night drinking, having fun, chatting. Uh, so, are you two married? Joe asked. No, Mark said. But we've been together for 15 years. Jesus. Mate, if I'd met Matt, Matt Ali, if I'd <laughs> met Natalie first, I'd have married her straight away, Joe said. I raised my eyebrows. <laughs> Just a demonstration I'm, on raising eyebrows there. I'm not sure I'd describe this Kane Dingle as your as your classic heart throb. I'm having a proper look at him now. Like, are you looking at Kane Dingle or the Kane Dingle, Dingle look alike? I'm looking at Kane Dingle. Okay. You, yeah, you, but it's, they've it's, got the mechanic. He's a bad yeah, boy, down, you know. He's a bad look, boy, right? He looks yeah. like a mechanic. Yeah, very yeah. well cast. He had a bit more of a heart a heart throb vibe in his early days, perhaps. And yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure if you, you know, if, if you watched Emma Dale and you saw all the affairs, sabotage and murder that he'd done, you'd be much more attracted to him. Oh, yeah, true, true. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you know, Joe was being a little bit flirty at the table saying, oh, God, I, mate, I'd lock her in. She's a, she's a piece of ass. Um, <laughs> and Natalie raised her eyebrows. Uh, I couldn't believe he'd been so bold to admit that in front, admit that in front of Mark. But secretly, I was delighted. Over the next few hours, I learned more about Joe. Not unlike Kane Dingle, he was a bit of a bad boy too. Oh, oh. shit. He'd been a juvenile delinquent and was often in trouble oh, with great. the law. Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the flutters, Rob. <laughs> Uh, Don't tell me he's a mechanic as well. To specifically say that as well, he's been a juvenile delinquent. <laughs> well, that's how he described himself, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but no, now he turned his life around and he was on the straight and narrow. Oh, excellent. Uh, the next day, Joe sent her a little friend request on Facebook. Uh, she was taken aback, but she liked Joe so much that she accepted the uh, little bit of a forward friend request there. Uh, from then on, we chatted regularly over social media. While Joe and I were getting on like a house on fire, things with Mark had started to fizzle out. Oh, no. Uh, after 15 years. Uh, we got on, but the spark had gone, for, had gone from our relationship. We'd been running a business for 18 years, and now it felt as if we were more like business partners than a loving couple. To be honest, I was lonely. Now Joe was making me feel like I was alive again. Uh, they both fancied each other, but she didn't want to give up on her relationship without a fight. However, in the end, she realised she just wasn't happy anymore. I think we should separate. I told Mark one day, this feels more like a friendship than a relationship. I agree, Mark said. Uh, we both need a fresh start. Uh, Mark and Natalie parted ways amicably and took a few months, but Joe and Natalie started dating. So she got her Kane Dingle lookalike. Wow. Got these Dingle Dangles. <laughs> she didn't think it would turn into anything serious. Uh, what they had was just pure physical attraction. And I expected it to dwindle in time. I don't know if you can look it up. Like, have you seen the picture of the Kane Dingle lookalike? So that's Kane Dingle there. Yeah. Right. And then this is the Kane Dingle lookalike. He's a pretty strong likeness. He does look quite like him. Yeah. Do you not think he does? He does from what you're trying to see, Tom. Do, do you not think he does? He looks... Uh, What's the name of the magazine? Maybe I can look it up. That's life. <laughs> at first, when you showed the picture, yeah. I thought it was the, the, the woman. In that photo, I was looking at the, the person on the left thinking, that looks nothing like Kane Dingle, but it was oh, yeah. the, the woman I was looking that's, at. That's Natalie, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All that's come up is Kane Dingle lookalikes when I've searched that. <laughs> what, like people you can hire to be yeah. Kane Dingle lookalikes? Yeah. <laughs> Get one on the podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah, so she didn't think that it would turn into anything serious. Uh, it was just, just you know, casual shagging. Um, until then, I was happy to have some fun. Joe and I started seeing each other. She told a friend happily one day, B careful she oh. warned me oh shit it's shit. too soon to rush into another relationship shit but i was enjoying myself and having the time of my life two months on joe told me he was going to have my name tattooed on his neck oh, oh mate are you sure i asked him totally he replied <laughs> i love you and that's it for me it was love 
at first sight. Uh, it's on the other page, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, when Joe came home later, I gasped. There was no, there was no missing the huge Natalie emblazoned on the back of his neck. Uh, there. I'll show it to you. Oh, fucking hell. Pretty oh, big. It's, yeah, he's not fucking about, is he? Yeah. Oh, uh, Kane Dingle. Up, What's his yeah. actual name? Hmm? He's Joe. not Kane Dingle. What is his name? Joe. Oh, Joe, of course, yeah. Don't know his surname. No, it doesn't matter. No. Uh, so, yeah, huge Natalie on the uh, back of his neck. Uh, yeah, for anyone who's not watching, it li- like it's kind of like low down on his neck, kind of like where his neck would sort of go into his back or like shoulders, but it's all the way from like the left to the right of his of his neck. Now he's already got some other tattoos on there. One of them looks like a pit bull, and the other one also looks like a pit bull. And uh, yeah, I don't know. He's got some. He, he's not uh, unfamiliar with going under the needle. Yeah. I think he does look like Kane Dingle, I must be honest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can see it. Like, not spitting image. I probably wouldn't have thought it was him walking through the door of the pub, but maybe if I had a couple of Bacardi and Cokes, <laughs> he, could, he could pass for Kane Dingle. Yeah. Yeah, there was no missing the huge Natalie emblazoned on the back of his neck. When I was in prison, I found out that having a woman's name tattooed across the back of your neck meant wife for life, Joe said, and that's what you are to me, my wife, wife. for life. When wife I was in prison, life. I found that out. <laughs> I mean, do you Beforehand, really need to go to prison I to have find out? Of it being a big statement, but when I was in prison, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, found no, out really, it's quite yeah. a move. Yeah, exactly. Why does that mean wife <laughs> for life, having it on your neck? Uh, back of the neck specifically. Yeah. As you, <laughs> he's on the yeah. front of the neck. That's just temporary. That's just a wife that, you know, for yeah. a couple of years. We, that's weekend wife. That yeah, one. yeah, exactly. Yeah, weekend wife. I was completely blown away by that <laughs> comment. That day, I fell hook, line and sinker for my bad boy boo. <laughs> 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 so, I assume that's how I'm meant to read it. B-A- B-E-A-U. Yeah, I, yeah, boo. I think that's boo, isn't it? Bo. Yeah, bo. Well, no, yeah, I've, I'd read it as bow. Like, yeah. I, that's what I would say, but I think they mean boo. Like, but I think they're. Me- I think it's meant to be read as it's, boo. It's yeah. the phrase, no. isn't it? He's my so boo. boo. But but why would you call nah. someone your bow? Bo, that's, that's like the old-fashioned way for saying your love, like bow. Oh, really? They used, they used to use it back in like the twenties and thirties. Oh. But people oh, do well. say boo now, don't they? Yeah, but it's, I think it's spelt. It is actually spelt B O O rather than. Bo. Oh. I'm sure Bo is like a yeah, it's like an old sort of slang word for love or like girlfriend or squish. You know, I don't like, trust this fucking thing you say anymore, squish. George. No, I like, tell you what, right. yeah. Bo. <laughs> I guess Natalie here is a bit more brushed up on her uh, Bo, so. a, a boyfriend or male yeah. admirer. Yeah, but we we don't know how it's pronounced just by because right. you've googled uh, that. We're, we're not debating what it means. Just look it up online. You can do like the uh, pronunciation thing. It's pronounced Bo. Okay. Bo. Bo. Okay. Right. But she Bo. fell hook, line, oh, and sinker for her bad boy, Bo. Bo. Uh, Joe and her spent all of their time together going to festivals and on days out. They even enjoyed a break to Amsterdam. Even? Even that. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, then one night, we were watching Emmerdale. Oh. oh, shit. My hero, Kane, had been causing more upset on the soap. Oh. I don't get him at all. He's awful, Joe said. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I gasped. Uh, I couldn't believe he, what he was saying and sprung to Kane's defence. Next thing I knew, we were having a full-blown row. Oh, my. <laughs> Joe jumped to his feet and stormed out the door. What just happened? Had Joe really stormed out over a soap opera? I decided to let him stew on it for a bit. And a few days later, Joe Kane crawled him back. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was really stupid, he said. I love you. Let's just forget about what happened. <laughs> I wanted to forget about it too, but there was just something about Joe that had changed. Mm. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Where have you been the last few days? I asked innocently. Uh, just drinking with the boys, he told <laughs> me. But he didn't look me in the eye when he said it. Oh, shit. Mm, I knew he was lying. 
You've been with another woman, haven't you? <laughs> I asked. <laughs> Alarm bells sounding. No, I love you. I wouldn't do that, Joe said. I had no reason to doubt him, but I had an awful feeling that something had happened. Well, I'm, then, I'm finding myself quite gripped. <laughs> I'm like, like this bullshit. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> what happened, what with happened? Joe? And... Uh, <laughs> so he said, no, I love you. I had no reason to doubt him, but I had this awful feeling. Then I looked at his tattoo. I told myself, he'd never betray me. <laughs> but from then on, Joe and I argued more and more over the oh, silliest no. things. Oh no. He started spending more time drinking with his mates. So were they married by this point, by the way? They... No, they just been no. to Amsterdam. And got the tattoo on his neck. <laughs> yeah, wife for life. <laughs> wife for life, but not, not actually actual wife. wife. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, he, spent his, he started spending more time drinking with his mates too. Then one morning, my phone started ringing and woke me up. Who's calling me at 1.30 a.m.? I wondered. <laughs> it was one of Joe's mates. I've got to tell you because Joe won't. He began. Hmm. Joe slept with another woman a few weeks ago after Shit. we had that big argument. Oh. Now he slept with her what, again. After they had the argument about Clint, Clint Dingle or Clint Kane Dingle. Kane, Kane, yeah. Kane Dingle. Yeah. Clint, Clint Dingle be the American version. <laughs> yeah. oh, my name's Clint Dingle. <laughs> uh, now he slept with her again. I lay there feeling shell shocked. <sighs> How could my Joe do this to me? But strangely, at the same time, it was a relief. Finally, I knew the truth. I hung up and called Joe immediately. You slept with another woman, I raged. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Natalie, he admitted. <laughs> I love those two things. I raged. I like, I like the use of I raged. I raged, <laughs> as yeah. a thing, And also, he admitted straight mm. away. It's like, yeah, it's, it's so like the sorry, sort of yeah, yeah. phrasing you do in like... School when you're like <laughs> writing, isn't it? Yeah, good bit of like exposition there, just to yeah. like build the story. Yeah, I wish it hadn't happened, but it did. <laughs> Livid, <laughs> I ended the call. I barely slept a wink. By the next morning, however, Joe had changed his tune. Mm. I don't know why I told you I slept with her. He grovelled. I'd never betray you like that. You're the only woman for me. <laughs> yeah, all this grovelling and. <sighs> The lividly being. Uh, Li lividly being. <laughs> yeah, being livid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never betray you like that. You're the only woman for me. Look at my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't believe a word of it, so I turned detective. Thanks to mutual friends, I found out that the mystery woman's name was Sasha, and she was 28. My Joe was 47. Shit. My mind boggled at the 19-year age gap. She was technically young enough to be his daughter. Savage. I messaged Sasha. Is that, is that true? Yeah, 19. I messaged, Sa this is a tongue twist. I messaged Sasha and she confirmed that they had slept together on two occasions. Hearing that, Boo. it was the final nail in the coffin for me. Bad guy. I told Joe it was over. He begged and pleaded with me to change my mind, but I stood firm. He might have looked like a bad boy soap character, but it didn't mean he could act like one. <laughs> I thought Joe and I would have a fairy tale ending. Instead, it was just another story of betrayal. You've got to be a real special kind of cunt, haven't you, to get a tattoo of someone's name on your neck and mm. then cheat on her. What was like, this? What yeah, what was the fuck? time span of this? Was it like, you know, like two days after getting a tattoo? <laughs> I read every word, so, you know, just as much as I'd. <laughs> uh, there is a comment here from Joe, Ooh. now 48, so a little bit wiser, more mature. Um, <laughs> he said, he told that's life. It happened a couple of times, but it wasn't an ongoing thing. It shouldn't have happened. Natalie's the woman I love. That's it. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's a picture of Natalie. That's a picture of Natalie back then. And then her now. Ooh, severe eyebrows Big. going on. <laughs> so, yeah, she, well, she looks yeah, that, much better with that. Much eyebrows better without him, Natalie. Really. More power to you. Would you say, Rob? I said, much, she looks much better without him. Fuck that, Joe. Yeah, Ooh. fuck Joe. Go find yourself a, a real Kane Dingle. Yeah. But not a bad boy Kane Dingle. <laughs> a nice Kane Dingle. Clint Dingle. Clint, Clint Dingle. Clint Dingle. Yeah, yeah he's you. probably, yeah. He'll come riding in on his white stallion. Yeah, Terrible that's it. Uh, 
Any maybe questions? she needs. Maybe she needs to find. <laughs> maybe she needs to find a man that will get a tattoo on the front of his neck. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. She tried tattoo on the back of the neck, means wife forever. Clearly doesn't. Maybe he yeah, thought so. of it as like a. I can get away with anything now. I've got her tattooed on my neck. <laughs> yeah, she'll obviously. It's like a contract. Yeah, like she'll yeah. believe me if I say I was just out drinking with the boys. Look at my yeah. neck. <laughs> and and do you think if he gets with like when he got with this woman, that's why he gets it on the back because she couldn't see it. Mm-hmm. Or if she did just see it, big or collar just, shirts. Yeah. Like or do you think yeah. if she did see it, it was just like it's my mum's name. Mm. Yeah. I met a woman before who had her own name tattooed on her. No my way. dad's got his own name tattooed. It's a laugh. His, your dad's really? got his name tattooed. My dad's got his own name tattooed on his arm. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know. He, 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 yeah. <laughs> so he, was, he, was, he was young and he was stupid. <laughs> it's a, uh, it probably, if he found out that I told everyone, but it's a, uh, you know, like, um, well, I don't know why. It, Pirates of the Caribbean, Jack Sparrow's got a tattoo of a sparrow, you know, like a mm, bird flying. Okay. So my dad's tattoo looks like that, but with his name, just Mick, uh, above it. <laughs> Obviously, he got it down in like nine, you know, the eighties or whatever, you know, whenever it was. <laughs> That's really funny. That's yeah. I, well, I might get the same tattoo, but with Mick, with, not, not with <laughs> yeah. George, with Mick, no, not with yeah. George. Yeah. I just want to get the same tattoo. I think it'd be quite funny. That would maybe funny, maybe yeah. a miniature. That would be funny. Yeah. Yeah, especially like you can you can get away with it, like saying, "Oh, that's my dad's name." Like, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. That's it makes cool. more sense. Yeah. You haven't got any tattoos, have you? No. No, no. Yeah. Um, to uh, make that your first one, to upper middle class, according to many of my friends. To get a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that is my cane dingle lookalike was ploughing a farmyard floozy. <laughs> why is that? Um, oh, there was no like mention. Of, so why was she was she confirmed to be a farmyard worker? Like, did she live on a farm? No, it oh, doesn't yeah. say anything yeah, about that. I think it's just it's a, a stretch. Good yeah. alliteration for the title, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's kind of it. I yeah. love it. I'd love to but, work. Uh, one of those if you've got a magazines. story, tell it to that's life, and you could get up to two thousand pound. It says it. It's fucking hell. And the one that I went with it. Yeah, mm-hmm. right to free post. Do you think they split it, or do you think she got it all? Because he's um, got interviewed for the story. He's obviously been photographed for the story as well. So they've got nah, together enough. To... I think that's like an old. That must be. Oh an old yeah, well, like a. Yeah. Fa- oh yeah, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a good thing about photos is. Uh... <laughs> They last longer. <laughs> Everyone's but, got uh, photos these days, isn't they? Yeah. yeah. I'd love to work for that. Was it? Well, that's life. That's life. life. Yeah, I bet it's good crack, isn't it? You can yeah. just make shit up. That's life magazine. Mm. Gonna, that's life. I'm going to apply. <laughs> yeah. There's, right, there's, well, it's there's uh, a good funny story, is it? Yeah. Pina Collard. Ah! Why I drank <laughs> cocktails through my labour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. My, I bet there's some great yeah. advice in that. Big boy, my 30 pound newborn wore nappies for adults. 30 pounds? Can hell. Raised by a fake mother, raped by. That's a fake, brother. That's not funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's definitely not funny. No. <laughs> it's, it's a really funny story to hear. I don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. know what you're going to get. Yeah. But yeah, if you've, got a, if you've got a funny story like that, you can either write to That's Life and get two grand or. You can text us and we'll read it out on this podcast <laughs> and you don't get anything. <laughs> and the both. number for that is... 07470184383 I bet we've annoyed so many people. <laughs> <laughs> George, um, what uh, story have you got for us? Well, mine is... Um, it's not as fun. Um, <laughs> let me find it. So this is I, I had this a couple of weeks ago, but I um yeah, I didn't get didn't get around to saying it. I probably chose something really terrible. <laughs> but you thought this story is too shit. I'll this save it for another shit. couple of weeks. <laughs> um but it's just weird. Um this is the headline. Deep breaths. Man who was bunged up discovers a tooth growing in his nose. Oh, I've oh. whether it's the same story or not, but I've heard stories like this before. Yeah, I've heard stuff like this, like tumours yeah. that grow teeth and hair. And... Mm. Yeah, so it's not quite the same as that. But I think we've sp- we, we might have had a story like that before. Like there was a, mm. a woman who had like a lump or a tumour. Yeah, which is full of hair and teeth. Yeah. I think we spoke about that a long time oh, ago. Oh, yeah. That's mad, um, isn't it? I th- yeah, I think it's quite common for like teeth to be growing, uh, obviously, in other areas other than your mouth. So 
this is this is how it starts this article it says the winter months mean many of us are suffering with cold and flu-like symptoms but one man who had been suffering with the bunged up feeling for several years had a nasty surprise when he visited his doctor the 38 year old man had been suffering with a bunged up feeling before going to the doctor he attended mount sinai health system in new york uh, and said he was having trouble through breathing through his right nostril uh, on Maybe speaking with medics, up for years, like you up for years, gone sh- earlier, surely. I know. I don't know. You sort of get used to it after a while, though, don't you? And then you forget. Mm. That's the great like, thing about having a blocked nose is when you no longer have a blocked nose, and you're oh. like, you sort of forget that that's a thing, and you're like. Whoa. Wow, mm. like, but eventually you sort of realise, didn't you? But, but maybe you want, if you perpetually got it, you just sort of forget that there is another life. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> there is another <laughs> life. Um, on Speaking with Medics, they reported that the man had never had a facial trauma or any abnormalities when it came to the face or the skull. Experts examined the man's nose and found that he had a septal deviation, a septal deviation calcified septal spurs. I think they're two separate things, but they've mm. just not written. Yeah, the septal deviation, that sounds like it's in the middle of your nose is your septum, isn't it? Like yeah, that. quite a few yeah. people get that. So it must yeah. be like bent. And then calcified septal spurs is just like a calcified yeah. lump yeah. coming out, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the next line literally explains that. <laughs> a septal deviation <laughs> means that your nasal septum is significantly displaced. Um, they also found a two centimetre perforation in the posterior septum. The man then has to have a rhinoscopy, which is when a thin tube-like instrument is used to examine the inside of the nose. During this procedure, the experts found a hard white mass in the right nostril. The man was sent for a computed tomography of his sinuses, which so showed a well-defined inverted ectopic tooth. Mm-hmm. Pictures show the tooth popping out of the, the nose, and X-rays also show where the tooth sat inside the nose. So I'll send you a picture of the. Uh, okay. I'll send you a link to the article. Sorry, and there's a photo of the of the nose. And the tooth there. But yeah, you can actually see it on the x-ray, which is, I suppose, yeah, I suppose you get away with not having like x-rays of your head. I was about to say, how's that not come up? But I mean, the last time I had an x-ray of my head was a long time ago. So that's not a common thing, is it, to have? Why did you have an x-ray on your head? Uh, when I had to have a tooth removed, ironically. So. Oh, okay. oh yeah. In my mind, I was like, why would you, like, unless you've had some head incident but i've had an x-ray on my teeth so yeah, head incident. yeah. yeah it's I not that head. rare yeah but it's not isn't it i didn't realize it was your whole head i thought it kind of isolated it to... yeah I, I just yeah it was just like my mouth I, but mm. for some reason i don't count my mouth as my head but yeah, yeah, is. Think about that, yeah. <laughs> i guess that's not really is that a mri scan not an x-ray it looks like an mri it doesn't look like yeah, it doesn't X-ray look like an x-ray yeah What's right. the difference in what it looks like oh yeah, yeah. i see what you mean sorry like yeah it's not like MRI a, scans that big it thing, looks like digital like it doesn't look like a yeah. An actual x-ray, yeah. I don't know, I should have got an expert in, shouldn't I? <laughs> um, yeah, that's I what we do here. <laughs> yeah, we, we always want to make sure we're factually correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, they then they found the tooth, obviously saw it, and it is like a, an actual tooth just growing out of the, the middle of his nose. Um, uh, yeah, so it's obviously going to block up his nose. That's why it was, it was bunging up his nose. The experts had to remove the tooth through surgery through an intranasal approach. Whoever's written this, they've like gone for as many fancy words as possible to try and make it sound like a medical (laughs) journal. Intranasal, ectopic, tomography, rhinoscopy. Um, Luckily, there are no complications with the surgery and experts followed up with the man after three months. And his nasal symptoms had finally resolved after several years. Uh, so yeah, it's not the first time it's happened. Uh, it's previously revealed that a woman who has been suffering from nosebleeds for years also had a tooth growing in her nose. Uh, the woman, identified as Jia, 57, believed the problem was due to a severe case of rhinitis. How do you spell yeah. that? Uh, Z- X-I-A, Jia. I'm guessing it's, that's how it's pronounced. X-I-A, yeah. Chinese Jia yeah. or Jia. I don't know. I was just interested, yeah. I was hoping it was spelled like that, yeah. How would you pronounce that? <laughs> Got all your hope no, for. no, no. I was thinking it would be that. Like, isn't it like G is like X I? Gia. Gia. I was just thinking of like the word in Scrabble. Pronounce. Thinking like, like a bullshit word in Scrabble. X I. Like. <laughs> Pronunciation. Gia. Shia. Shia, apparently. Hmm. I win. <laughs> you live learn, and learn. You live and learn. Learn Chinese with the Curious cast. Shia. <laughs> 
I don't know if that's Cantonese or Mandarin. That, that you've got to look up for yourself. Um, so, yeah, so Zhe, uh, I believe the problem was due to severe case of rhinitis. However, when uh, doctors in Changsha, capital of China's Hunan province, uh, scanned her head, they saw a high-density shadow in the right nasal cavity. We thought it was a foreign object or some sort of stone. They peeled back layers of membrane to discover what turned out to be a fully grown tooth, complete with root and crown. That's deep, isn't it? It's mad. Yeah, it's definitely a tooth, looking at it. Mm. Yeah. It's, very it's a weird tooth. shape. It isn't normal tooth-shaped. No, it's like a... Nah, because I suppose it wouldn't have the normal yeah. way to grow, would it? Would... Yeah, just grow however it can. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so obviously it's, it's weird that this tooth has been growing in this woman's nose. Uh, and it reminded me of um, something we spoke about a long time ago, which is pretty bleak, which was... Uh, um, I can't quite remember the name now. Let me just quick look it up. It was when the... I said lithopedian, lithopedian. Do you remember speaking about this, Rob, a long time ago on an episode? I remember it's, that word. I remember bleak. the word, yeah. It is, um, it's a rare phenomenon which occurs most commonly when a fetus dies during an abdominal pregnancy. Oh, it is too yeah. large to be reabsorbed by the body and calcifies on the outside as part of a foreign body reaction, shielding oh, the bad. mother's body from the dead tissue and preventing infection. But it, so it's basically the, the fetus turns to like a, a rock version uh oh, and it just stays out. inside the mother forever there's like um cases of women that have had it uh you know had their lithopedian for 50 60 years or something crazy wow um, there's, there's never have any problems so they just never find out yeah yeah sometimes it is a problem and you have to get it removed but other other times i, I think a lot of the really long ones have been in like quite rural poor areas so maybe they just put mm. up with being unwell for a long time yeah uh, but yeah, it's pretty bleak. Like um, it's very uh, dark. If you look at what a lithopedian looks like, it's basically just a just a dead baby that's been turned into stone. So um, a lovely, happy story to uh, <laughs> thanks for that end ending. The story <laughs> of a woman me. or a man with a tooth growing out of his nose. Um, but the reason that I have thought of lithopedian is uh, Push Up Paul. I was talking to Push Up Paul a couple of days ago, and he. Um, uh, sent me a thing about uh, crabs like um, <laughs> so crabs haven't got like a, 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 it's very vague he'll be able to explain it properly but basically all I remember is that crabs have, uh, don't evolve from a common ancestor right so they basically calcify and they create a body so the crabs at one point they all look completely different they were like they're not a crab you know millions of years ago or whatever but they calcify and create a crab-like shape so everything forms this same shape so it's like this um blueprint for for life it sounds mental let me let me just see if i, I can't can, get my um, head around that what the fuck so right let What's me um, just get the you're actual... saying crabs don't breed no, no they, they do breed they do breed so he sent me carcin carcinization that's what it's called carcinization um so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read verbatim Push Up Paul's message. It says, it's okay. the process by which various shelled creatures with many legs have evolved into crabs. The various def defiant animals we recognise as crabs have not evolved from a common ancestor, but have arrived at broadly the same body plan via convergent evolution. Um, so it implies <coughs> that there is some sort of platonic ideal of life form, and it is a crab. Take that what you will. Cars carcinization. It's an example of convergent evolution in which a crustacean evolves into a crab-like form from a non-crab-like form. Okay, yeah, I think I'm... I think I'm, getting like, it. I'm looking yeah. at a, like a diagram now. Mm. I think I get what you mean. It's just that there are lots of different species that are all the exact same shape, which is crab-shaped. Yeah, but they're not but related they're not crabs. in any way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So right. it's like this weird... So there's lots of different, yeah, lots of different types of crabs that have all evolved completely separately. Yeah. Not, yeah, common ancestors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the same way lots of, uh, lots of fish are not actually related to each other. Mm -hmm. um, like they didn't evolve in the same way, like fish all kind of evolved separately. Yeah. And even though when you cut them open, look inside, a lot of their bodies are organised in the exact same way, 
but they didn't evolve like from the same species. They all kind of evolved separately. And it's just mm. what is the most like yeah. uh, ideal and well, there was a thing where natural that, uh, selection works, right? There was a thing with that with eels, wasn't it? Where it was talking about mm. not evolving from a common ancestor, even though they seem like exactly yeah. the fucking same and they do the same life cycle. Man, it all sounds a bit yeah. fishy to me. Fuck off. You ever been crabbing? <laughs> oh, I used to I have, crabbing yeah, once, kids, yeah, yeah, down in like... Cold Whitsta- Asphalt, Whitsta- right? Whitsta- Whitsta- No, I think it was like when we were at like Whitstable or something when I was much younger. Yeah. Mm. I used to go crabbing at Cold Asphalt. There was this massive yeah. crab that got away, the one that got away. Oh, I still remember <laughs> it. It was fucking massive. That was carcinized to fuck. That was that crab. Uh, yeah. Mm. A big, Did you in, not have in other crabs Asphalt? in the bucket? To, like... I had loads of cra- yeah, loads of crabs, but... This one, I just couldn't, you know, I didn't have the strength. Couldn't to land it. Wow. I couldn't land him. And that yeah. was in Carlos Fort, was it? A big crab like Carlos Fort was fucking big boy. Wow. Big boy. My dad used to tell me a, um, it's how stupid I was as a kid, right? My dad used to tell me a story about Carlos Fort saying that, um, yeah, it was, for years it was, uh, people, the public weren't allowed there because um, at Carlos Fort there's like a, an inner moat that's now like a little lake. So it's separate from the sea. Yeah. And he said, in this lake, there were these giant eels, and one one summer's day, there was a family there having a picnic, and, and the kid was walking by the this lake, this little moat, and one of the eels came out and grabbed him and <laughs> dragged him underwater and killed the kid, <laughs> and they couldn't catch it. They couldn't catch the eel because the moat was so deep that you know it swam away, and they they they've put X uh, uh, sonars in there. They can't find it. It's just, <laughs> and uh, for years, I believe years and years and years, I believe that there were these giant eels living in there. Yeah. Well, that'd be one of those things would be great if like you, know, you only just realised that wasn't true. Like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um yeah, so that's it. And the very tenuous link between um push up Paul's crab story and the tooth is that a crab shell was a bit like a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so, so that's my link. I'll take that, yeah. And obviously the babies turn into stone. Um that was like a little bonus bonus piece. But it's just Quite weird. Imagine going to a doctor and they, them saying, oh, you've got a tooth growing inside your nose. Mm. Um, you know, that's yeah, why you've weird. had a bunged up nose for four years. Yeah. <laughs> My wisdom teeth are weird. I, I didn't know that I had wisdom teeth. I just thought, like, oh, mine haven't grown through yet. Mm. But they have. I just, they grew with the rest of my teeth. Like, they just came through as normal teeth. But only opposite sides to each other. So, like, the bottom left and the top right ones, they came through mm. just fine. But then, like, the bottom right and the top left ones, I can feel them underneath, like the top, like, I don't know, just the pointy bits like came through so I can feel it and they're there. That's weird. And they just never, never moved. Like, mm. don't know. I've only got but, one, a partially erupted wisdom tooth. The others are all hanging out, waiting to yeah. ruin my life. But they came I'm through really straight. straight mine. I think mine have come through just with other teeth taken out and they've just conveniently slotted in the gap. Taken, quite taken nice. its place, yeah. Mm. Just see, take, keep taking more out and see how many come through. <laughs> yeah. You're like a shark. Yeah. There's a really funny scene in uh, South Park where like Cartman's running this scam where he's like taking all, he, taking all the kids because his mum pays loads for tooth oh, fairy, yeah. t- yeah, like, yeah. like puts oh, loads of money under the tooth yeah. fairy uh, pillow thing. So she's like, he he loses a tooth and she's like, fucking hell, like she left like twenty dollars under there or something. Yeah. I think he believes in the tooth fairy. Like yeah, he, he does believe the in the tooth fairy. fairy yeah. Leaves yeah. twenty dollars. Everyone else at school's like, I only got like one dollar or like five dollars. Yeah. So he's like, Give me your teeth. The tooth fairy will pay me and I'll give you a cut. And like he's running this <laughs> yeah, scam. Yeah. And his mum calls up the dentist. He's like, I'm a bit concerned. My son seems to be losing loads of teeth. <laughs> well, your son's at that age. Like he will be losing teeth. Um, how many has he lost in the past like week or so? And she's like. 74 <laughs> yeah. he's like uh, your son wouldn't happen to be an alligator would he <laughs> she's like no I don't think so <laughs> that's good uh, anyway, I've watched I South Park for years good shit I need, right. I I need to catch it. up yeah me too yeah. Um, I think that's a wrap isn't it that is yeah mm. that is uh, episode 76 of the Curios cast if you want to suggest a topic or a question again the phone number that you can text us on is 07470184383 That number once again is 07470184383 Oh, sorry. 
<laughs> yeah. Join us again next week for, I think, another episode of Weird News. Yeah, we're going to be getting our teeth into something else next week. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh I thought you was hinting that next week you had uh, a, no, no, no oh, teeth another thing about teeth. No yeah. teeth next week. Yeah. Okay. Right. I don't know, maybe. Who knows? No promises. Yeah. You know, I haven't looked it up yet, Tom. Yeah. Text us a photo of your teeth if uh, you want. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a tooth I'll send you a picture of actually when I had my tooth out it was ridiculous well, I had to rip it out of my face it. and it was yeah. fucking horrible I'll send it to you in a bit I'll, fi- I'll find it All no, right. send it to the, the new number <laughs> what is that new number? <laughs> that number is 074701 074701 <laughs> it's terrible alright All right, I'm going for a slash <laughs> All right. right. Peace. Peace. Peace.